This is the maid of the house. And okay. This makes you want to clean more. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Cooley Be Coolin' in the building, man. If y'all could tell by the title of the video and how the swag looking today, man. Today, I'm bringing y'all something very informative, man. Everybody be wanting to know how do you make real, genuine rum punch. It's a lot of flukes out there. It's a lot of people that's official out there. And right now, I'm with my pops, and he is Jamaican. Full Jamaican, so he is one of them that is official, official on the rum punch. And today, I'm bringing it on how to make it dead to y'all, man. So y'all already know what I want y'all to do, man. Like this video, man. Subscribe to the channel and make sure y'all share with anybody that ever wanted to taste the real deal rum punch. Because that's exactly what's going down today, man. No food gang, none of that, none of that going on today. Straight, real deal recipe on how to make real deal rum punch man got pops with me he got the swag going on too man real deal jamaican man tell him a little something about the ingredients on what's going on today All what right. we got right there okay. so these are the ingredients that's needed to make real jamaican rum punch now you'll find lots of other recipes out there and we have a base recipe that we're going to go for we're going to start out with However, based on some of our ingredients, we're going to deviate from that, and I'll explain that later as we progress. So, some of the stuff we need, um, orange juice. Get that from any little grocery store, grocery you know what I'm store. saying? Doesn't have to be Tropicana, in fact, uh, any kind of orange juice. Uh, one of the things we need is uh, strawberry syrup. This is Jamaican strawberry syrup. Where they can get that from, Dad? Uh, Jamaican strawberry syrup, you know, uh, some of the uh, basic stores like Pete's or any store that carries uh, Caribbean items, you'll be able to find uh, Jamaican. doesn't have to be Kelly's, but Kelly's is known as one of the best on the market. So if we're making the real stuff, we want to use the best. Indeed, indeed. Same Next thing up. here with Tropicana. You can use any orange juice. Tropicana is known as being good. So again, same thing. We take a look here at pineapple juice. You can use any brand. But as you can see, we're using dough, um, all pineapple juice, straight pineapple juice, not from concentrate. Again, we're using the best. Take a look on this side. We're using Hawaiian punch, and this is the uh, fruity, juicy red. That's the one you want to use. And of course, the key to all of this is J, Ray, and Nevia, genuine overproof rum from Jamaica. Now, if you take a look at this, this was bought at a local liquor store. And of course, not all local liquor stores have this either. However, you'll notice here in the rum, it says guaranteed full strength, which is basically like a hundred proof. If you are to purchase this same rum in Jamaica, it's actually, I think it's somewhere around 121 proof. Woo. So it's actually stronger than this rum. Woo. But of course, we're here in the States. We don't have access to getting it from Jamaica. So we had to purchase what they have, still strong. And another key ingredients that we need here is uh, dark rum. Here we're using Bacardi. You don't have to use Bacardi. You can use any dark rum. And we'll talk about the proportions later. Now, uh, limes. As you can see, we have a whole lot of limes. That Plenty we lime. We have about three dozen limes here, so it's quite a bit of work, and we got to juice all of these limes manually. So that probably gonna was take was take probably the longest in the process of us um, making the rum. Another thing that's gonna expedite our time is uh, ginger. Generally, you'd have to get the dry ginger. You'd have to find some kind of means. There are several different ways to try and get the juice or extract from the uh, liquid extract from the ginger. But fortunately for me, I have uh, one of the best that you can find. Let me show it's, them uh, that. It's called Jamaican ginger. 
Let me show y'all this, man. I don't know where we going to... Where this, they could get this from? This, this looks like this, the item that they probably ain't going to be able to get. No, the, so they're going to have to substitute other ginger items. And because what, what, this, what would be a good substitute have, for them just, without getting that? Because that I know is actually from this the is, island. This is from Jamaica, but I've actually seen it on the internet. Okay. So you can probably get this... Um, uh, from the internet. I don't know if you want to take a look at Virginia. I'm going to get it on here one time for y'all real slow. So if y'all want to try and Google it or anything, but this came straight from straight the, islands. the islands. So and I don't know how easy it's going to be to get it, but this is something that he add in it. And I'm, I'm telling y'all, his stuff is all the way 100%. In fact, at one point, in order to get this in Jamaica, you had to own a food business, you know, restaurant, uh, bar, something like that. Okay. Well, y'all see, y'all see the ingredients right here, man, from the man himself, man. I'm going to tell y'all, I don't know too much about how to make rum punch or nothing like that, but I know one thing. If you ain't got that Ray and nephews, <laughs> you definitely ain't official out here on the rum punch. You know what I'm saying? So if all y'all recipes don't got that in there, it's, it's game over. Stop y'all making a little margarita or something else. It ain't rum punch, man. But we about to get into... How we busting down everything over this way and gonna bring it down to y'all, man. Like he say, man, we about to get our hands real in it, man. We got to hand squeeze these limes. He want them hand squeeze. That's the way he do it, and that's the way we doing it. That way. So, as you can see, one of the very first things here is to cut all of these limes. And again, I have three dozen limes right now. I'm not going to cut all three dozen at the same time. What I'll do, I probably, because I probably won't use all of it. I just wanted to have more and not less, just in case. So, as you can see, right now, I'm cutting a dozen. And to start out with, and once I get these cut, then I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to try and get as much juice as I can from these limes. Trying to extract the juice from these limes. That's how it's going down right there, man. Hand juicing them. I ain't gonna be too much in the video, man, because I ain't like I told y'all, I don't got the sauce and I ain't got enough muscles and hands to do all that. So we gonna let the juice master get the juice in them. You know what I'm saying? If if you can see as we as we as the juicing process progresses, you'll notice that we have some pulp. Let me, yeah. get a, let me show them that up close, man. Let me get that up close. Cause I, like I say, y'all, I ain't getting too, too hand and gritty with it because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm letting him bring, bring it dead to y'all on how so it's You can coming. see you have some pulp. That pulp is real good as you sip your rum punch. Every now and then, you get a little bit of uh, pulp in your mouth and you can taste that tang from the lime itself. That's that real deal, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I already know y'all dropping in the comment section right now like, man, y'all need a bottle on deck. I know y'all want a bottle on deck, man. I can't sell it, but I mean, this is what I decided to do. Bring it dead to y'all. So wherever y'all at, y'all can make it this way. You feel me? So as y'all see, man, we got a bunch of lines to get to. I get a little footage of how... He juicing it, you know, y'all might have your own methods of juicing, but if y'all do it like this, this is how you're going to get the real deal flavor of the real lime and the pulp in there. And it take a lot of time, but I mean, who rushing for perfection? You feel me? If you rushing, hey, your stuff don't come out the way it's supposed to be official tissue, that's on you, man. So I ain't going to get them doing all these limes, but we're going to, once he done juicing them, we're going to move on to the next step. Right now. I just got done juicing a dozen. So how much a so, dozen limes give us? Let's see where we at on the dozen limes, y'all. All right. So let me get around here on this side. We got a dozen limes. We have a dozen limes here. Yeah. And, and we, we have about... We a little under a cup and a half. We have uh, 12, 12 ounces, which is not bad. That's not bad. We have... Uh, Cup and a half, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So, how how, how many more limes is? What, what would you say we need to have to juice that on the limes? All right, it's kind of hard to say because um, we can make in, in the art of rum punch making, they don't all have to flavor the same. 
It all depends on the proportion of the different things. Um, some folks might prefer a different flavor. When I say flavor, in terms of uh, different proportion of items that you add. So we can actually start out right now making some rum punch using what we have so far and, um, uh, and make a different batch which will still taste good, still have good flavor, but taste totally different from the first one by how much of these different items you add. Now, the basic rum punch recipe, and I'm going to say the basic rum punch recipe, which is probably what you're going to find when you do a search for the basic rum punch recipe, which are generally what a lot of folks use, is they call it a one, two, three, four proportionate. How that work is that one, in terms of proportion, one part. When I talk about one, two, three, four, we're talking about all parts in terms of proportion. So if I use a one part sour, which in our case is going to be lime, we use two parts sweet, which is a strawberry syrup. Again, we're talking about the basic rum punch recipe. We use three parts strong, which is a combination. In fact, forget the combination which is just a rum, because general rum punch recipe doesn't even ask for the dark. So let's go with old school recipe, the basic recipe. So three parts strong, in proportion three parts rum, and then four parts weak. And the weak, what do you suppose the weak is? I don't know, juice? No, the weak is water, water running oh. right from the faucet. Okay. So as you guys see, there's no water here. And I made mention of no water as we go through this process because we're not going to use any water. Our week is going to be different juices. juices. For example, right. we have a Hawaiian punch, the we have a pineapple, and the orange. we have an orange. That's our week. So we all know that the week is already sweet. So although the basic recipe calls for two parts sweet, we will not be using two parts sweet because that's based off of using the basic recipe. Water. The that's based off of using the, the, water. The, the if you don't know how to do rum punch, the basics of making recipes are doing the rum punch. But so, look, gang, we ain't doing the basics of rum punch around here, man. So like I keep telling y'all, man, we bringing y'all that real deal holy feel, man. If you're too cheap to go ahead and get the little recipe pieces, then go watch somebody else's video on how to make rum punch, cause um. Uh, I know y'all be in the clubs and all that, spending $20 on shots and all that. And to buy all this stuff, was it, it was under $100. It was somewhere, down somewhere down. around $100 this for all this. And this going, after we get done making this batch, we going to have plenty bottles of rum punch. It's not like we just making one bottle of rum punch with it. We got plenty of juices and everything that we're going to be having. Plenty bottles of rum punch that your boy Cooley going to be at the crib. Sipping on you dick. All right, so what we're gonna do then? Let me tell you what we're gonna do with the uh, <clears throat> with the um, lime juice that we have so far, twelve ounces. We're gonna go ahead and start out making a batch because that's fine. We don't have to squeeze. We we're gonna continue on um, later. But in terms of this video itself, we don't have to squeeze all 36. We're going to use them eventually. When I say eventually, when we get done with the video, because we're going to make some more. But this is just one batch. So, we're going to start up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour. In fact, I'll go ahead and pour um, all 12 ounces in this pot. All 12 um, ounces. And again, that's my sour so that's one of my proportion one of my sour all right now for the rum if we talk about proportioning if you remember i had mentioned three three strong and this is my right because it was one sour right. two sweet three strong and four, four wheat. wheat all right right so, so that was one right sour now, in there with the lime 
and now it's the strong, so it's now three. It's strong. So that should be 36 ounces 36. if I'm doing math correct. Exactly. See, simple math, y'all. Simple math, man. School paid off for something, man, in these proportions, man. So right now, he just dropped in 12 ounces of the sour, which was the one. Now he pouring the strong, which is the three. So that's 12 times three, 36. For everybody that don't know math or something, that's basically make it easy for y'all on how to do it because we didn't go to sweets next. So 36 ounces of the rum going in there right now. That's the white rum, the Ray and Nephew rum. And I don't know how you're going to do anything else, but we're just going to have to all watch and see because this is something that I'm learning for myself, man. I'm trying to learn how to do this myself also. Keep in mind, this is going to be strong. This is going to be strong. This is going to be strong. Oh, so. see right there? That was 24 of the white. So again, if you guys remember, I said I'm going to deviate from that um, basic recipe. No basic around here, man. This is the real deal right here. We don't want basics, man. We want that true island dialing drink going on right now. Now y'all see it. 32 ounces right there. 24 of the white and then the extra made it up to the 34 y'all can do the math and whatever that is the difference but so that's how it went down so we know we're short of the 36 in terms of proportion but we're gonna tweak we're gonna sweeten and we're gonna tweak uh, as we go along so uh, that extra is just for what's left out we'll probably wind up going in later right because that was only 32 mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be 36, 36 in total exactly exactly okay. All right. Next up, the pineapple dineapple. Ooh wee. Hey man, matter of fact, while y'all watching this right now, drop in the comments section and let me know how y'all feel about the dreads. You know what I'm saying? We out here dreaded up, man. Like the real rosters right now. You feel me? Jamaican swag going on and everything. You feel me? Drop in the comments section, man. Let me know how y'all like the little drip that we got going on for the video, man. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do right now, remember we talked about four parts week. Four parts week, right, okay. so. So, this, is, this shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to put uh, 24 ounces. So, 24 of the Hawaiian punch is going in right now. So right now we have two parts of mm -hmm. that. Exactly and then right. what's what's going in the orange juice? You doing 24 of the do, orange juice? No, 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 no. Mm -mm, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, eight or something I'm like that. Do 12. Okay, 12. Mm -hmm. There go 12 ounces of the orange juice. And then 12 ounces of the pineapple juice, which will make mm -hmm. the complete four mm -hmm. section of the recipe. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear it, man. See, I'm busting it down for y'all right now because I know it's hard to look and understand what's going on with the recipe. But I'm definitely going to have all that in here for y'all so y'all can make sure y'all make it the exact way, man. Like I say, this is one informative video. It might be long. I don't know how it's going to be when I get to editing everything out, but... This is, I'm trying to show y'all the real raw footage of how to real life make it. So when you watching it, you can pause, do what you got to do, continue on after you do that. That way, when you get done doing it, it's going to taste exactly how it tastes like this. All right. This uh, concentrated ginger. And again, it just so happened that I have this. This is gold. People pay big money for this stuff. Hard to come by. So... It's a little bit hard to stir. So what I'm gonna do, I have a bottle, which you guys probably didn't, didn't notice, I have a clean uh, small bottle, all this is just a bottle. And what I'm gonna do, this concentrated ginger is highly concentrated. So what I'm gonna do, it, it, it takes a little bit to mix it out. So what I'm gonna do is to pour some of this ginger here that ginger look thick. Yes, it is. That's why it's so hard to mix out. I'm going to pour a little bit of that ginger in there, in this bottle. 
And yeah, it doesn't make too much of a difference here. All I'm trying to do is to get some liquid to mix it out. I'm going to pour some of this um, Hawaiian fruit punch. Do y'all see the precision with him, though? He has not spilled not one pinch of liquid on this countertop. <laughs> and all you got to do is to agitate. It's pretty much uh, mixed out already. Mm -hmm. If you're to pour that in and try to stir, man, nobody probably want to drink that that because uh, you'd see that brown all in the it. All right. to get that brown out of there. So, so this is a step that's needed right here. If y'all had that ginger if you had concentrate, mm -hmm. y'all mix it with some juice just so because it's so thick. Because when you was just pouring it, I noticed how thick it was mm -hmm. that. It needed to be mixed with something, therefore your rum punch won't look like it's straight brown or anything like that. All right, you know so we're saying? missing something, aren't we? Man. Can anybody figure out that we're missing something? Everybody know what we're missing. They watching the video. It's only one thing you didn't drop in there. Mm-hmm. Bow! Right here. All right. The Kellys. So if you guys remember earlier in the video, I talked about um, the uh, sweet, too sweet. But again, all our wheat is already sweet. So there's no way we're going to put a proportion of uh, two parts of sweet. In fact, uh, so far I haven't added any. And I will not add any until when we taste and see approximately what we need to do to achieve that uh, perfect level of sweetness. Hey, that's the part I like, the tasting. Cause you tasting it, you know what I'm saying? You're getting a little tad bit hit. You know what I'm saying? Then you making the adjustment, now you're getting tad bit hit. You make another adjustment, by now I'm wet, wet. You feel me? That's and, and, and it just keep that's going on from there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's the part I like to do. That's when I was a kid and my dad used to make this rum punch. Not a kid kid, but when I was old enough to drink and everything, because I know y'all y'all get to acting all amazing, like, oh, you was drinking them? No, that wasn't the case, you feel me? When I was old enough to drink this, though, that was the part that I liked to do when he used to make it. Didn't pay attention to how he made it, but that was the part that I liked, and then I liked for my friends to be over also as he was doing it, because they all be like, dang, Pops be making that good deal rum punch, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the part I like, man. And this is just a taste. Go ahead, try that. Ooh. That's all this is, just a taste. Come on, let's I, take this taste together. Hold on. All I'm trying to see is where I need to go with the sweet. That's all I'm trying to do. Figure out where I need to go with the sweet. Respect. All right. Oh, yeah, it's starting to taste like mm -hmm. it. It's mm -hmm. definitely starting to taste like that rum punch. Strong. It's strong though. Yeah, it's strong. It's strong. <laughs> it's, strong. it's strong. It's strong like I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a ginger. Now, if you're doing this for a party, your proportion change drastically because this right now is really strong. So naturally, if you're doing this for a party, what you want to do? is to add more weak which is juice if y'all not exactly. understanding exactly. i don't know how many times i gotta tell y'all that but i know there's so many people out there that be what is weak you know what i'm saying it's the juice part okay mm -hmm. y'all it's the juice part for the americans that's watching that's not understanding what he's saying that's the juice part okay all right it's still gonna have a good flavor but you gotta let it last everybody gonna enjoy it and they might even get drunk off of it too but it takes a little bit longer to creep up on you. So, I like that. I like that official tissue the way it's supposed to be. You know right. what I'm saying? That one cup demonstration move. You know so what I'm right saying? So right now, it could, ideally for me, if I was making this for myself, I would just pour and taste. And, then, and the reason I'm talking about pouring, we're talking about um, the sweet. The sweet, right. However, uh, for your viewers, I'm going to measure because that's the only way you're going to get a true picture. Exactly, because a lot of people do recipes, mm -hmm. and when they do the recipe, they just pour They just right. pour mm -hmm. Right now, you see, we're giving y'all proportions. Go get y'all a measuring cup. Mm -hmm. Get y'all a measuring cup for one, if y'all watching this video. Get y'all a measuring cup. That way, y'all proportions be exactly to the that's T right. 
of what it is in this recipe. Because a lot of people don't give y'all proportions and stuff like that. We proportioning it down for y'all the right way. The only thing that you haven't got proportion in is, is that. The ginger. Yes. And it's hard for me to give you proportion. In fact, it's impossible. Because, and, and even a lot of the stuff here, you can make changes for your flavor as you... As you stir, you can make changes. So all I'm giving you is a foundation so you can work and you might even wind up with a better rum punch than I later on, you can add stuff. Question so, for you, Dad. Mm -hmm. With that ginger being from Jamaica, mm -hmm. I know that is gonna be the hardest item for them to add to this recipe. All right. So what can, can they do? make it without that ginger? Yeah, you can make it without the ginger, but that ginger always give a good flavor, even in cooking some basic meals. So, what you can do, get the, uh, you can get concentrated ginger. It's not going to be like this. You can get that from one of them health food stores, and you can use that. However, if you want the real ginger, you can actually get that from the store, all right? When you get it, they, can, they call it ginger root. You can get the ginger root from the store. Once you get the ginger root from the store, you can um, grate it. And grate it, what all that right. mean by, cause we talking to viewers that's like me that we don't understand all that. And probably a lot of my subscribers don't even know how to cook or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, what grate it mean? I'm trying to see if uh, there's a, uh, is it like when it you're taking it and up. using that little shiny that, thing and that, then exactly like shaving. graining it, like shaving exactly. hot? Shaving okay, hands. okay. I'm trying to find it. I don't know where. Uh, I think we all get the picture. If, if I just got so the picture, course, Dave Bell should know what's the going process, on. The, 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 the real process is you peel it, you wash it, because you want clean, clean um, end product, whatever you use, you want it to be clean. So you wash it and then you grate it. Then once you grate it, you can actually add a little bit of water to it, and of course you uh, you juice it. You try to get as much of that juice out of it to get the extract, which uh, produces actually the best because right. that's, real, that's the real, real deal. That's a ginger, hundred percent ginger. Right. But this here is as close to a hundred percent as you'll find. It's a hot commodity right everybody, here, man. Like he say, this is gold that. right here. If y'all, matter of fact. To anybody that's subscribed or anybody that's watching this video, if y'all are able to find this, please drop a link in the comment section, man. Yeah, so man, everybody will be able to, you know, go dead to that link and get this. Cause uh, I want y'all to, I want y'all to run punch to taste exactly like how ours is tasting right over here, man. Right. So that's that. So I have uh, four ounces. Four ounces four of the sweet. Four ounces of the sweet. And it's thick. Thick. Real deal sir. Um, uh, to maximize them, make sure that you get uh, get all of it. We can add. You gonna add some pineapple in there? Pineapple. And again, all we're doing is just trying to get. Make sure you get the full. So that was the four ounces of the syrup. Four ounces. Y four ounces of the syrup. Although in proportion, uh, theoretically, based on what we're doing, it was asking for twelve. Okay, but, but the other juices and sweet. everything add to exactly. the sweet and the wheat are just not exactly. using water. So that's exactly why you do it exactly. that way. Exactly. So if you use water, then you're going to need um, 12, the 12 ounces. ounces but I guarantee if you use water, I'm pretty sure you can tell right now, it's not going to taste the way that ours do. Mm -mm. So don't use water. That's don't be that. cheap with it. <laughs> Buy the, the ingredients that's in here. So y'all can taste just like this, man. And I guarantee y'all have a lituation going on, mm -hmm. wherever it is drinking this. So we just added, um, we just added uh, four ounces of uh, of uh, sweet. I'm trying to stir it all. I think I did add a little. Did I add a little bit? I think I did add a little bit more ginger to it. And now another where's taste. Our, where's our? Uh, our cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I tell y'all, gang, this is the part I like. Pull me up. Let me get that taste going. And this is just a taste because if we keep tasting like this, we're going to wind up <laughs> finishing all of the sponge. <laughs> all right. Respect. Strong. Strong. Not wrong. Strong. Mmm, 
It tastes a lot better. Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot better mm -hmm. now. You let it sit. Pour yeah. it over ice. Pour it over ice. Keep it chilled, of course. Pour it over uh, shaved ice or crushed ice. That adding in the man, it's still strong, but it tastes <laughs> ten times <laughs> more it's better smooth. now. It, it knock it down to where it's not smooth. it's harsh on. You don't feel yeah, it. Yeah, you don't feel it. Yeah, yeah you don't mm -hmm. feel it as much. Yeah. You feel it going down. Yeah, but it's not harsh like how it, it was exactly. like the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Hey. This is just one of the methods, and let me tell you, it's warm inside. Yeah. It's warm inside. Indeed, y'all, man. So that's this on this video, man. Like I say, this one method of doing it that I feel like is a real deal official method of it. And when you drink it, it's not going to be like it's not what it is. You know, it's going to be real deal rum punch. Like, ain't, if you can't get wet off this and have a good time with this, then I don't know what, and then the flavor in it too. The flavor is what really matter. It's not no food stuff being used. This was real limes being squeezed out and everything, man. So this is something that I always wanted to bring to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just because this is one of my favorite alcoholic drinks that I like. And I wanted everybody to be able to be at home and make this drink the way that it's supposed to be done the right way. I had looked up and I seen a lot of people trying to do it. And I really didn't like the way that they were doing it. It didn't seem 100% official the way that I had wanted to if I just didn't know nothing about making rum punch. But on this video right here, man, y'all see it live first on how to make that real deal holy feel. You know what I'm saying? So y'all already know what I want y'all to do, man. Drop in the comment section if you're trying to make it. If you have any questions, I will respond then to you on the answer on what you need to adjust if this video wasn't as formal as it had needed to be. But I feel like it's 100% formal. The ounces, the measurements, the ingredients on every way that he had made it is perfect. And if any of y'all was here to, able to taste it the way that it tastes right now, it tastes so amazing. But like he said, now we gonna get to playing a little bit around with, you know, different measurements and stuff like that just to have different batches of it. You know what I'm saying? But that one, perfect. I can make it like that every time and guarantee I will be able to sit back at the crib, sip on that and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So y'all already know what to do, man. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure that notification bell on because like I said, man, I'm trying to bring y'all this killer heat, man. I know I ain't been doing it a lot. I've been working crazy, so I really ain't had time to vlog, but I'm still trying in my free time when I got the energy to, to bring y'all some killer footage, man. And one person I want y'all to thank right now, because it wouldn't have happened without him, is Papa Doc, man. Appreciate this. Definitely right. needed you to go ahead and bring it out for everybody so they can see how it is. And plenty more recipes coming from the Yachty. Plenty more recipes coming. Rice and peas. Hey, drop in the comment section if y'all want to see more recipes going on because I'll be eating that real holy feel official tissue Jamaican Caribbean food drinks all that you know what I'm saying that's what it ate hey, let me see if y'all can see that right there I don't know if I get that angle y'all see it's tatted on me man Rasta man that way All right, y'all, man. We, we just dropped down to the basement real quick because we needed yeah. to get uh, a review of how the rum punch really is. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, I mean, look, we is just chilling. They cleaning and yeah. everything, so don't mind. The maid. The maid got to have a taste too. So we about to go ahead and let her taste and give her opinion on how it is, man. Yeah, this is the maid of the house. Okay. Makes you want to clean more. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> this is called Jamaican Punch. And my God, it's an after a DZ. You talk about after New Year, this is New Year going on. Happy New Year, everybody, to the maid of the house. Indeed, yes. Happy Come New back Year to everybody. You buy this off the, the shelf of all the jewels in Chicago, Illinois. And yeah, the, the maid is tipping. <laughs>
<laughs> so y'all see how it is, man. That rum punch is the drink of the drink, man. Everybody, this one is strong. You know what I'm saying? It's killing everything. This one is the way it's supposed to be, man. Hey, hey, turn around. <laughs> you know my boss lady couldn't handle her. Uh, this is her new year. I'm just gonna take her sip. That's the way I like it That's done. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I like it done. We like the shots of a double. This <laughs> is the maid saying sign off and see you next time. Indeed. Amen. Hey, happy new year to y'all, man. Gang. <laughs>